These are oats and field peas that were planted about mid-April. They fit into our cropping scheme because we grow a lot of late fall harvested crops and they're harvested in late October or November when it's too late to establish a rye and vetch cover crop. So they're left open over the winter. As early in the spring as possible, we get the oats and field peas on. The oats are broadcast just by hand. We put the oats in a bucket. We use other small grains that we might have around. Uh, we walk down the tire tracks and throw handfuls and directly uh, apply them to the bed. Then the peas are drilled with our four row Planet Junior cedar. The reason we do that is because the peas need to be drilled more deeply than the, the oats and the pea seed needs to be economized because it's quite expensive so we like to plant just the four rows rather than broadcast the peas over the bed. The oats are incorporated before we drill the peas. By drilling the peas with the, with the seed drill, we're planting them directly where the vegetable crops will be planted so the nitrogen is right where it needs to be. The pea seed is inoculated before planting. We like to let it get at least a foot high and then we mow with the flail mower that chops it up and makes it break down more quickly so it's incorporated more easily. Then we'll use the rotavator and till it under. Normally the succession that we use because these beds would be ready to plant in July is then we would follow it with a transplanted brassica like broccoli or cabbage um, without any additional compost being needed. Cover crops are an integral part of sustainable agriculture because of their role in soil stewardship, pest management, and crop rotation. While many vegetable farmers in the Northeast use cover crops, typically the practice is limited to small grains for preventing winter soil erosion. This video features 10 experienced vegetable farmers from five states, explaining how they use cover crops in more innovative ways. The farmers describe which species of cover crops they plant and how they are managed. Viewers can decide for themselves whether a particular practice is suited for trial on their own farm. 